Good morning. It's Jane. This is going to be another affordable dentures update. I made a video um, a few weeks ago where I had taken my dentures in that I had gotten from affordable dentures to get them adjusted and how they basically just ruined my teeth. And at that time, I hadn't decided uh, what I was going to do. If I was going to go back or just do something different. I had a lot of pain in my mouth and uh, the dentures that I had were ruined and just if you don't want to watch this video and you just want to see if affordable dentures did make my teeth right they did they made it right and I'm gonna tell you that whole story so that you can learn from me if you're going through this process you know I hope maybe somebody will have an easier an easier time than I did because apparently there were some issues and I didn't even know. So, uh, I ended my last video saying that I had some pain in my mouth and that the upper plate was um, just basically destroyed and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, I lived with the pain that I had. They had a, when they had a hard relined my upper plate, they had just done some things that hurt my mouth and I tried to adjust to it and I just could not so the following Thursday I had the adjustment done on a Friday in July the following Thursday I ended up calling them and I asked to speak to the office manager and she got on the phone with me and I had asked her um you know, I kind of explained to her, she she pulled my file to determine exactly who I was, and she remembered me from where I had asked for that $55 to be taken off my bill. And I told her, I said, I, you know, it's been almost a week. I've tried to adjust to this, and my upper plate is just destroyed. She thanked me for calling her, and she said that she was going to be reaching out to me that day because of the review that I left on Google. I left a Google review that was kind of scathing. And I would never have left that review but for the fact that Affordable Dentures texted me after I left. And, you know, they send the text that says, would you leave us a review? Well, I wasn't going to, but since you asked. Uh, and it wasn't a very nice review. <laughs> so... She told me at that time, this was a Thursday, the Thursday after the original Friday, she said, how soon can you come in? We're just going to remake your upper plate. I couldn't go in until the following Tuesday. So she said, come at 8 o'clock and we'll get you a new upper plate made. So I take a friend with me and we get there on Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, we see uh, the same, well, the office manager told me that she was going to uh, place me with a woman named, I'm just going to call her CC. I don't know that she would like it if I used her real name, so I'm not going to. But she said, you know, when you come on Tuesday, we'll have you see CC. She is, you know, the best. She's got a lot of experience, and she knows what she's doing. So, that's who I saw. And when I sat down in the chair, she pulled my file up and you could see, uh, you know, everything that I've paid over the course. I had my teeth removed at Affordable Dentures in July of 2021. I bought a warranty, a five-year warranty, and I paid for the ultra premium, like the best that they had, the most expensive set that they had. And I've mentioned before, and this is important here, that the wording of the contract is such that you get your immediate denture and then you know right after you have your teeth removed then as your mouth heals you know they adjust and you know to fit once every few weeks once a month uh, for six or eight months and then they you get your final denture and it was explained to me that your immediate denture was actually your final denture I thought I was going to be getting a second set at the end of that time. 
but I wasn't. It was just the original denture that I had bought at the beginning. But, you know, since th those were the dentures at the end of my healing, that too was my final denture, which I thought was scammy. But, you know, I'm not going to argue with them. That's why I bought a second set. So, I've, I've showed in a video before uh, my economy set. That was the set that I bought in June of 2022, in June of last year. Because I wanted to have a backup set. I was under the impression that, you know, immediate set and final set were two different things. They were not according to affordable denture. So, I had to pay another, you know, $800 or whatever it was to get an economy set as a backup set. And anyway, so when I get there on that Tuesday and I see Cece, she's looking at my file and she looks at everything that I had done and she looks at everything that I've paid and she said, let me go and talk to the manager because uh, I, I have to ask her, um, you know, about exactly what I'm doing. So she comes back and she says, you know, I talked to the manager and the way that it's supposed to be done is I was correct. You get an immediate set, which they now refer to as a healing set. So you get that set of dentures during your healing. And then at the end, you're supposed to get your final set. There was all kinds of stuff here. Apparently, the entire staff at Affordable Dentures has turned over, and it's been in the past few months, and I know that from looking at reviews and seeing people saying names of the same staff that I dealt with. Here recently, in the past three, four months, the entire staff has turned over, and I don't want to get anybody in trouble for, for saying things that uh, maybe they shouldn't have said to me, but my I inferred that there were some issues with the previous staff being scammy. And so, there wasn't one single person there that I'd recognized from my time there last year. So, um, as a result, I didn't get the full set of dentures at the end that I had paid for and that I was entitled to. So, CC said that they were just going to make, make me a whole new set. Because I should have gotten a set last year. Instead of having to buy a $600 or $800 economy set. Which irritated me. Not going to lie. So, we get into the process of making the new dentures. And um, there's all kinds of, st kinds of stuff tied up in uh, these teeth for me. And I loved the teeth that I had, and I knew that they weren't perfect, but I, you know, and I was looking forward to getting a new set, but the set that had been ruined had been my main set for so long, and I, and I really just felt like these were my teeth, and I did not want to let them go, and they did allow me to keep that set, so now as a result, I have three sets of teeth, and I'm going to make a video showing you every, all my three sets of teeth. Because I'm just going to brag about it, number one. And number two, now I have three sets of teeth. Which, anyway. So, they get into the process of making my teeth. And one of the things that I had said before was I was worried about being buck tooth. You know, some people when they get their dentures, they're set too far forward. And you end up looking, uh, you know, your teeth protrude. So, I told her about that. She said that you know, she would be careful. They took a mold of my mouth, my entire mouth. She did the bottom once and she had to do the top twice because she wasn't uh, comfortable with it. Then they had took like this ball of wax and like rolled it into a little strip and had me bite down on it with no teeth in my mouth just to show how my mouth sat so that they could get the bite correct. correct. And it would be comfortable and it would look correct. So, this is at 8 o'clock in the morning. By the time they get all the molds and all of that. Um, and the bite. The wax bite. I had to wait around for 15 or 20 minutes. While they made me a set of teeth. Out of candle wax. 
so that I could try them on and it was just it was not a fit thing it was an aesthetic thing they wanted to make sure that my teeth looked the way that I wanted them to look so we did that and then after the uh, candle candling thing my friend and I went and had lunch and we went and shopped and uh, we, ca we came back at two and to have my new dentures fitted now these are my new dentures, and I'll take them out and show them to you in just a minute. Um, while I was sitting there, and my, my friend was back in the back with me. She came back there while they were, you know, doing all this. And I'm getting my dentures fitted. My, um, my friend said, well, what about Jane's $225 that she paid? Now, I wasn't going to ask for that $225 back. In retrospect, my friend was right. I should have. Because I was owed a brand new set of teeth. And because I didn't get the set of teeth that I was entitled to at the end of my um, healing, I spent six or 800 I can't remember exactly how much, but it was not cheap six or eight hundred dollars on an economy set of dentures so that I could have a second set of dentures. So, you know, affordable, they did scam me. They got extra money off of me that, you know, they had no, no right to because I just didn't know. And in retrospect, I'm going to take these teeth out and show you in just a minute. I'm going to wait till I'm done talking. When I went in to have the original adjustment, that caused me all the issues. The young woman that just inadvertently destroyed those teeth. She should have known from looking at those teeth that they were not the most expensive set that Affordable Dentures has. Because it's obvious. When I show you these teeth, they're the my old dentures were like, they were thick and, you know, they... I mean, I didn't know. You know, I didn't know what I was looking at. And when they hand me these dentures and they say, this is the most expensive denture set and this is the one that you paid for, I don't know what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? But the young woman who destroyed my teeth, she saw my file. And it should have been very obvious to her that this ultra premium set was not an ultra premium set. But she either didn't look at my file close enough or she just didn't care. And then she proceeded to ruin those teeth. So, my, my friend asked Cece, you know, what about the $225 that, you know, was paid for this adjustment that ruined the teeth when y'all owed her a set anyway? So, the manager comes back, and the manager is actually speaking to my friend. <coughs> And the manager says, well, I have to, I can't just give her her $225 back. I have to ask corporate and I have to go through a process, but I will do that. I will ask. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking about, you know, 2021. I mean, you know, let's, everybody had a hard time. <laughs> you know, everybody's had more of a, of a difficult and odd time since 2020. Let's just be honest. Everybody's gone through it. But in 2021, you know, I had had some, like, really heavy personal loss. And I was going through all of this, you know, with my teeth being out and trying to adjust the dentures. And, um, you know, I mentioned some of the, you know, I had death in my family and it just all kinds of things that were incredibly emotionally hard. And as I'm sitting there, and they're having this conversation, you know, I'm beginning to, te to tear up because, you know, on top of everything, affordable denture scam me too, <laughs> you know? And uh, I was just sitting there thinking about that. And, um, at some point, the manager, uh, 
the review was mentioned and the fact that I make, make these YouTube videos was mentioned. And the manager said, well, do you have the card that you paid the $225 on? And I said, yes, I do. She said, give me the card. I'm going to refund your money. So she refunded me the $225. So at the end of this story, it started out really bad with affordable dentures destroying my, um, my good set of teeth and me having to pay $225 for that. And it ends with the manager giving me my money back and I got the new set of teeth that I was entitled to get last year. And now I have three sets of teeth. <laughs> so, um, and Cece, when she, you know, she, she's adjusted these and, you know, she did all these things. And she also uh, took my old teeth, the ones that have been ruined, uh, while I wasn't looking or while I wasn't paying attention and she had, uh, she didn't fix them completely, but she got rid of a lot of the dents and she made like the part that was, uh, irritating my gum smooth. And, uh, she did some work on those too. And I really appreciate that because, you know, these, something happens to these, then I have an actual backup set that I can actually wear that I can actually adjust to. It has taken me a while to make this video because even though I have these new dentures and they're wonderful and they're perfect and they're beautiful, you have to relearn the whole thing. And when I did this, I timed it in such a way, and we were also in the middle of COVID, which made a difference, but I timed it in such a way where I didn't have to... Um, leave the house. I worked from home and I worked online so I didn't have to talk to people and interact with people. I'm trying to get used to these teeth because saying specific sounds uh, you know, can cause an issue. You have to learn to talk. You have to learn to eat. You have to, you know, and while it becomes comfortable, you just have to get used to them and it's a whole process. I have been very frustrated over the past month that I timed this where I could do this part without having to be out of my house and without having to see a lot of people face to face and try to, trying to work with this. This time, I've had, uh, I had one job outside of my house until June. In June, I took a second job. So, I've had two jobs outside of my house where I work with the public. And I've had to walk through that. Uh, at the same time as trying to get used to these. Now, there have been a couple of incidences where, you know, I had to learn to, uh, you know, say anything that had a G, you know, like gate, anything that had a P, like pat. Um, there was one time when I was speaking with a customer at one of my jobs, and I had to say a word that started with a P, and my bottom plate just flew out of my mouth. It just went, plop, and like... And, um, I had to tell, it was actually three people, and I said, well, that was awkward. Thank God we're not on a first date, but, uh, I just got these new teeth, <laughs> so you'll have to overlook me. And they laughed, and I laughed, and it was just, like, a big thing. But, um, you know, I've said before, I don't have some kind of, um, I don't have embarrassment over not having teeth. You know, it's just a circumstance. It's not a moral failing. And I'm one of the few that has been very lucky that I could actually get nice teeth. So, you know, I got nothing to complain about. If people know that I don't have teeth, and most everybody I know does. But anyway, still don't want to have to deal with them flying out of my mouth. The other thing is, um, at at least, you know, one of my jobs I could eat in private and it was fine. But at my other job, there was no eating in private and the shifts were long. So... I was having to try to learn to eat with these, and that can be really uncomfortable and sometimes painful. Uh, but, you know, I've made it through, and, you know, now I can make this video because I can talk well enough. <laughs> I can talk well enough so that you can see, you know, how they are. Um, their affordable dentures gets a lot of hate. <laughs> Two years ago when I started this process, it wasn't that way. 
Uh, but now I see that affordable dentures gets a whole lot of hate. And a lot of it's deserved. But in my case, I still feel like they owe me some money. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not... I'm not that upset about it because I'm just not. I just don't get upset over things like that. I, you know, I feel like now I have everything that I'm that I was supposed to have. It didn't happen the way that it should have. Um, but overall, I'm happy. But if I had to choose again, um, I would probably choose a different provider. But, you know, there are so many things that affect, you know, insurance affects it. I was cash paying, so, you know, just uh, sometimes you can't always choose exactly what you want or where you want to go. But if, if I could do it again, I'm not sure that I would pick affordable dentures. But this particular center has done everything that they can to, you know, make it right, except give me my economy dentures money back but you know I have the dentures so but uh these teeth are going good and I have a couple more adjustments and these teeth fit better than the other ones ever did and the previous staff with my old teeth when I would go in and you know I've had people ask me on my comments how do you deal with the lower um, you know, how do you keep the lower in place? And my answer to that is I don't. It floats and you kind of develop a muscle memory and um, a muscle memory and you you learn to you know work around it. With my old set, I could eat you know eventually after a year, you know I could eat and it, like it just wasn't an issue. I learned to keep them in place until they got loose. Um, but the old staff at Affordable Dentures would always say, you know, well, they're going to float and you can't expect perfection and blah, 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 blah. The people that I deal with now at Affordable Dentures, they're like, no. Your bottom plate should not float. You know, this is just laziness and ineptitude uh, for you to be told that. Um, you may need to use a little adhesive, which I don't. I'm stubborn. I will never. But, um... The fit of these, I have, um, the, the fit, the fit is just amazing. I'm going back this week to have, um, another adjustment. They went ahead, you know, when you get a new set of dentures, you get like a hundred days of free adjustments or whatever so that they can get settled. I'm going to have to go back at least one more time just to fix a few, like, little things that, um, you know, I want fixed. But I'm very happy with the staff and... You know, I'm very happy with my experience. Now, I will show you my teeth. There's the lower. What's the camera? There it is. This is so, it's so thin. It's so much thinner compared. And th this part right here, I don't know what magic CC worked, but when it sits in my in my mouth, this part has always, like, flapped up, almost like a wing. And the original staff told me that was just the way it is. You can't do anything about it. Look at that. She has, a, on, on this side, on this side, it actually fits down onto my gum. It's amazing compared to the last set that I had. I'll make a video at some point showing you all three sets, because, you know, but... But I'm going to see if she can do a little bit of that magic on the other side. And then here's the upper. I don't know. It's so thin right in this area. It's so thin in that area that you can almost like see light through it. But it's still sturdy. Aren't they pretty? And they're so much thinner. I just can't get over... I can't get over how much thinner they are than, um... than, the, than my originals.
I can. Gotta get him seated. I can't get over how much thinner they are than the original ones. Which really makes me question um, the first woman who did the first adjustment adjustment that I paid $225 for. It makes me wonder. What was she thinking? She had to know because there's such an obvious difference between these and the other set. I'm getting into like 30 minute territory now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. Uh, and I'll show you. I'll show you side by side comparison in another video. Uh, but anyway, I hope this is helpful to someone. And uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I'm Jane, and that's my denture story. I hope y'all have a good day.